Hello y'all, Redneck Reloader here. A uh, little different uh, format here. Um, I actually at work, I'm on a break. Got a little time here and I want to make a quick video. Um, just do another quick radio video on the Baofeng radio. I know I, I said I was just going to do the one on it, but a friend of mine today and I were discussing the radio and he had a question for me and I thought, well, if he's got it, some of you may have it too, so I was going to uh, just make this quick video because I happen to have my radio with me today and some other components. So I'm going to talk about how do you run your Baofeng um, off of AA batteries. If uh, you're going camping, uh, for prepping, if you're going to store this or something, it's a lot easier to store AA batteries than to keep the Baofeng radio charged and to have a charger and everything for the existing battery that comes on it so um you can buy a little adapter and i'm going to show that to you today so thanks for watching okay so this is the baofeng uv5r this is the one i have and with the uh, baofeng radios if you press the zero button and hold it it will tell you how much voltage is left in your battery so in this case 8.1 volts um, this is the stock battery that comes with the Baofeng. Um, that's actually kind of a high reading. I've got this um, fully charged. Um, the way, way you release the battery is there's a button up here. You press it, and then you can slide the battery off. If you actually look on the battery, it actually says it's rated for 7.4 volts. So getting 8.1, this thing's really cranking out today. So this is the adapter. And you can see the similarity between the two, except it's bigger than the stock battery, which is a lithium ion battery. This is a little holder, and there's a button down here in the bottom. If you press it, you can pop this top off, and you can see that this holds six double A batteries and then this cover just snaps on there's two holes at the top that line up like that and then it snaps on and you can snap it on slide it on I should say to the back of your Baofeng give it a push and it's in and you can see it does make the radio a little longer about an inch and a half two inches longer but the Baofeng is such a small radio anyway that really doesn't make a difference. And it's about the same weight as a lithium-ion battery, so it really doesn't change the weight much. And this gives you an option to be able to power the battery with AA batteries. So if you're out, it dies, you've got additional batteries, you can change them and go. But now here's one thing about this. So if you press the zero key, you see our voltage... It's 9.2. Um, each one of these batteries is one and a half volts. So when you have six of them connected like that, you actually you know have nine volts. Well, the bad, you know the radio is not rated for that. So although you can turn it on and you can listen fine, if you try to transmit, it won't work. And the reason why is that's the radio protecting itself from overloading and burning something up because you're putting too much voltage to it. So if you want to use this to talk on the Baofeng, you have to do something a little different. So let me take this off and show you. So now instead of having six batteries in here, we need to have five batteries in here because if you have five, that means you have five times one and a half volts, which comes out, if my math is correct, to seven and a half, which is much closer to what we need, where this battery is rated at 7.4. But of course you have a dead spot here, so you have to do something with this. Well, I bought this. This is a dummy battery. Um, paid a buck for this off of eBay. And it's very lightweight. There's no weight to it at all. It's hollow. Um, it's just basically a wire connector that's the same size as a battery to mark the place of the battery. So you insert it and that takes the place of a battery and completes the circuit. But now instead of nine volts, you have seven and a half volts. 
The only problem with this dummy battery is I'm the dummy who bought it because it's not quite the right size. And if you look in there, it's very loose fitting and it actually won't quite complete the circuit because it fits in there too loosely. It's like it's just a millimeter or two too short. So to use this, when I want to use this dummy battery, what I'll have to do is I take a little piece of aluminum foil and stack it in between those two batteries or between the battery and the dummy battery to solidify it and make sure it makes a good connection so it's kind of worthless um, what you can also do instead of buying a worthless dummy battery is just take, simply take a dead battery and use that in place but the only thing is you want to make sure it's completely dead um, because if it's got, you know, half a volt or something like that in there, that might be enough to still keep you from transmitting. So now what I've got the dummy battery in there, I'm going to reassemble this and sometimes you have to give it a little smack to make sure it's in there good and tight. Now I turn it back on and if we hit our zero button, we see we have 7.6 volts, which is more in line with what we wanted. And if I push the transmit button, you can see now it works. So uh, that's how you power your Baofeng from uh, AA batteries. I hope this might have helped you. And uh, God bless. Red Drake Reloader out.